we're in a moment right now in American healthcare where um, there's a convergence uh, that's taking place between the pharmaceutical industry, between the payers, between uh, those involved in the delivery of care, and that convergence is really around value. A patient leader told me last week they wish that pharma companies could be more like Amazon, not just about the products, but the whole experience of discussing the products, of getting the products, of using them and talking to each other about that experience and how it affects their entire lives. The risk, if we don't do that, is there are other companies out there who have experience in those areas and excel there. I find it very interesting that companies like Google and Samsung and even Fujifilm have pharma arms or biopharma arms. They understand customer experience, they understand technology, and certainly they understand big data and analytics. I think the opportunities are many, and I would say it really starts with um, uh, creating a new type of relationship with delivery system and payer partners um, that are based around outcomes as opposed to volume of, of, of drugs used. Beyond the pill lies a full, complicated life for patients, and companies need to embrace that entire messy, holistic experience to be a part of a patient's real world. Those companies that really think like patients in the heads of patients will be rewarded with trust and loyalty. I think there's an opportunity for us to really put the patient back at the center, but it simultaneously also put the clinician back at the center. You know, one of the best examples of that is the new push towards predictive analytics, where we're trying to predict which patients are not adherent with medicines, or we're going to try to predict which patients um, don't have good outcomes. But we're not necessarily act asking our clinicians to identify those patients and do anything with that information, when in fact they know their patients better than any sort of algorithm could uh, potentially know them. And I think patients feel that. And so we often talk, talk about uh, big data, but we're not necessarily giving enough credit to small data.